we have an imbalance right here. You have one blue candle and three candles going up. Y'all see that, right? Yeah. All right. So I'm off the top of the wick. So that little piece right there was still count. Yeah, I was about to ask that. Uh, I don't. I don't know if that's like particular. Like I know Mike was, like, was talking about like usually like the second candle is like his like real big candle to kind of like really speak to that imbalance, but. I guess you can see it multiple ways. You can, you know, I'm going to see them a million times. My idea is I'm on a full hour. So right. Okay. You're right. It's going to be a very yep. large space when I move down. Gotcha. So there could be a lot of action in between there. So, yep. again, it's up to your style, but I'm thinking about how I am on a full hour because if I go to the one hour, it's a, oh. it's a lot of, yes, yeah, a lot of data. That makes sense. So, you know, yeah, mm -hmm. I take zone to zone. So, if I know the break, the test is here, I want to take this up to the next zone and just secure my bag. And you've seen it finally broke up a little bit, but then it retests. So, that's time. Now, if you could catch it and you're watching it, that's fine, but I just don't be wanting to miss the move. Okay. So, that's like 33 pips. So the next imbalance is probably somewhere up here. So it would have been harder to kind of find your entry. Mm -hmm. Hey, um, so quick question, Ty, while we right there. Um, because the I don't want to lose you. I know you're marking okay. up imbalance. So you see that that the top level of imbalance, right? That that retest right there? Right here? Or yeah, right, here? right, that long piece coming down. Yes, ma'am. So mm -hmm. when we're waiting for the retest and I we can't predict how far down the retest is going to go. So it's looking like every retest might be more, might go deeper than the next or the last. How do you determine at what point of the retest to get in? Is that when you look for the engulfing? Yeah, that's why I always teach people to mark up the engulfing. And what I notice is the imbalance is always right next to the engulfing anyway. So if we look, we probably will find an engulfing pattern. I kind of see it from here. But let's go back and see why price came that low. You know, I tell you how to put price over the engulfing pattern, right? Mm hmm Structure is just, this is your structure. Repair, it came below. Kind of retest and then it finally broke above. Retest it again. And back, we test it again into both. So that's coming back from this engulfing zone. Because remember, even though this signified a bearish engulfing and it came and retest, it, it ends up still going up. But this is going to be your buy zone and your sell zone. It stands for both. So mm -hmm. price came above this zone, now it's the buy zone. And then if you notice, when this candle retested back to that zone, then the next candle was a bullish engulfing. Mm. Telling you, hey, get ready for the buy. And what did it do at this imbalance zone? And you tested it clearly. Mm -hmm. it. So this is using the same analogy of, yeah, bullish engulfing, you know, we put it around the bearish candle, mm -hmm. the price break above it, catch the retest. So let's go back to the four hours. Okay. And look what we did from marking up that one candle in the one hour. Look at it. Mm. All right, so let's keep marking up in balance. We'll leave our marks there. That's fine. So this was the next imbalance. And remember I told you it kind of lines up perfectly with my engulfing uh, mm -hmm. candle. So it's kind of like, I noticed the imbalance is like my TP1 and then where my engulfing candle was, I, I've been noticing it's like my TP2. So let me make sure I got it all fixed. 
Now we're gonna go up and find the next one. I just found this one. This was the second one. So now we see we got this Ferris last candle and at least three going up and cross it over. Top of the Ferris candle wick and we count one, two, three. The wick is here. And drag it over. Don't see any more right here than this one right here. I want to kind of find a balance with this price, with the data that's right here. So I'm gonna use <clears throat> this last and balance right here. Now, when I see up this that top, I'm probably not gonna put in balance. I'll just mark my engulfing candle as the last one that's highest up. And you see we got a good retest right there. All right, so this is what I'll I'll be done at. So I just found all my balance. I see where price went the lowest. I see kind of where it went the highest, and then I go to the one hour. Now, if you want, we could look at the pattern that's on the scanner. I don't even think actually I'm on NZD US. I'm not even the right one. But let's see if it's on there. Could be. We got an old one. But it's still good. Put a pitchfork on it. All right, so they got a cipher pad on there. All right, so y'all see we got the RSI down here, right? Yep. Y'all see where our zones are. Can y'all see how price right here was consolidated going to the left, which is your left shoulder? Mm -hmm. Then we got the head. Can you see how price came into imbalance, close, and retest? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the move you're looking for because remember, imbalance started down here to the left and it pushed price up. So remember, as Mike was telling y'all, once y'all start getting this uh, bearish engulfment action, then that's when it's time for you to sell. But I would just, again, this is, zones are key. So you see how price here on the one hour closed below the balance the first time, and then it came back up and basically retest, but it mm -hmm. closed below. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is your sign. This is your entry here to take a sell. Also, to help you out, look at the R side. This is the key area to look for your entries for sales. Consider this your sell line, this white dotted line. Price went above that. So that means we overbought. So as soon as we get price to course back into the zone, we should be looking for the sell. So you see how it crossed over and it basically resets under the zone and it drops. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Same thing that's happening up here. So when you see price above, and you've got this happening, and you've got this dropping, that's also your signal is ready to get for a sell. So y'all know we own a one hour. We got our balance marked up. So I would still go down again, because you'll probably see your break and retest a little clearer. You'll get more candles to help you get in. All right, so let me get a little closer. Does that make sense so far? Yes. Yeah. Hey, I got a quick question, um, Ty. So yeah. when, when you're looking on, like, the hour time frame, like, um, do you anticipate staying in that trade for that whole hour, or are you just kind of, you know, just studying that particular hour frame to see, you know what I'm saying, how long you want to be in the trade? in that time frame? Well, to be honest with you, um, I'm just analyzing on the one hour. The one hour time frame just signifies that each candle takes an hour to complete. So if I'm on an hour time frame and I'm analyzing this, most likely that means the trade will probably take anywhere between 
an hour to four hours, maybe eight hours. We really don't know when the trade is going to complete. So your goal is to figure out what your plan is. And if that means you have gone for 20 pips, if you get 20 pips in 10 minutes, then close your trade. It might take four hours to hit your target. We don't really know. So I just know if you start trading up to hour time frame, it does take longer sometimes for your trades to complete. So I usually gotcha. trade on the lower time frame, so my trades don't last as long. But okay, got gotcha. Okay, I appreciate that. Yeah, All right. sure. So even right here in this section, you see how we have this? We already have imbalance down here, right? Mm -hmm. We marked it up, right? Price kept shooting all the way up. As we're watching price go up, you could also be looking at the RSI. So we know, right, about divergence, you see price going up, right? And we got price going down this way. So when divergence is happening, I was noticing when I was trying to learn it, sometimes I was getting in too early and then price would still keep going up some more. Mm -hmm. You know, so I noticed that was happening. So I was like, how can I figure out that to stop happening to me? So what I did notice is I want to wait for my clear uh, bullish engulfing. So you see how this first one came? You see, we have the first one here, right? Mm -hmm. So let's just say we on a one hour and we marked it up. Is everybody clear on what bearish and golfing is on this call? Yes. Okay, cool. So this is the first one because the red candle is smaller than the blue one. I'm sorry, can you explain it one more time? All right, sure, no problem. All right, real quick. You taking notes? I am. Look at no take us the money maker. All right, so you got two types. You got the bearish engulfing and you got the bullish engulfing, okay? The bearish engulfing is signifying the seller's about to come. So this is what it would look like. Let's just say this is your bearish candle. I mean, a bullish candle, this is your bearish candle. So you've got a small candle on the left side and a candle, a bigger one on the right side that closed lower. So this is bearish engulfing. The bullish engulfing, you'll have the smaller one on the left side, the bigger one on the right, but it closed above. So bearish engulfing, bullish engulfing. And the bigger candle always has to be on the right side for this to be valid. But sometimes you'll see this, but this doesn't count. The bigger candle is always on the right side for the buy or the sell, doesn't matter. So you see these two candles right here? Mm -hmm. What's this? What's this pattern, this variation? Bearish engulfing. You wrote it down next yeah. to your picture. Oh, no, I didn't draw the picture though. Yeah, draw a picture. How you gonna remember it? Okay. Draw a picture. Take a picture. Draw a picture. Draw it for thirty days. You're gonna see engulfing patterns everywhere. I'm gonna take a picture. Hold on. 
before you take it off. If you're on your phone or your laptop, you can screenshot it, print it off. Hey, Ty, are you asking what kind of candles those are? What's the candle variation I call this? Like whether or not it's bearish or bearish. bullish? Mm -hmm. yeah. So the, okay, because I wrote mine down. So it's a long one, it's a long, it's like bearish. It's a bit bearish or bullish, but it all determines where it closed. Did it close lower than the one on the left or higher on the one on the left? Ask that again, I'm sorry. It's okay, it's, it, it's determined by the candle to the left. So if the bigger candle closed lower than the one on the left, it's bearish and Okay. If it closed bigger than the one on the left, higher than it's uh, bullish and Bullish, okay. Janita, is that how you say your name? Yes. All right, one more time. What's this variation? Bearish engulfing. This one? Bullish engulfing. All right, so what we have right here? Bearish engulfing. What we got right here? Bullish engulfing? Nope. Mm -hmm. No? Oh, no, no. the longer one's supposed to be on the right. Oh, that's right. So that's nothing, right? Yep, that's invalid. That don't count. Hey, I mean, there you something. go. There, it is. there you go. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> we trying. We trying. I love it. Okay. Stop quick. Stop quick. <laughs> that's okay. a tricky one. Professor Pips in the building. Yes, sir. <laughs> Who else was answering? Because I can't see you. Sorry, that's Raven. <laughs> Sorry okay, about that. Raven. It's okay, it's your turn. And you said when you see a the the trend of the bearish engulfing, that means a sale, right? Yes, ma'am. It's signaling that a sale is coming. Okay. And then with the bullish engulfing, that's a buy. Yes, ma'am. Got it. Thank you. All right, Raven. What pattern is this one? Uh, that's that's a bullish. Bullish what? Engulfment. Sorry about that. Okay. Bullish engulfing. All right. All right, guys. I think we got it. And now you're going to be seeing them everywhere. Go mark them up, put a box around them. All right, you know what? Let's talk about, again, consolidation, going to the left, right? Mm -hmm. I tell y'all, when you see consolidation, get excited and trap it. Because when you trap the price, you only have to wait to see if price is going to go where? Up or down? 50 50. Right? I tell you, as soon as price close outside consolidation and retest, that is a good trade to take. Let's get a little closer. I promise you, if y'all learn how to work with one pair, it will be amazing. Y'all see how we have price boxed in? The open and close is all inside the same area, going to the left, going sideways. Finally, a big candle came and closed outside the pink box. Right? Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. And price came back down. Yeah. And this retouch happened on this pink box. It's time to take this trade up. Breakout, retest, take the trade. 36 pips in three hours. So to the person who asked about the time frame, 
you know, in one hour, but if you took this particular setup, it took three hours to finish. Got you, because each one is right next to each other on an hour time frame. That's right, each one take an hour to finish. Got you, got you, okay, okay. Then we had a couple of hours, price went sideways again, right? To be honest, it's consolidation. I was about to ask you, would you consider that a consolidation area, even though it's only just only two hour candles that kind of went in that area? Yeah, just because they closed on the same area, they go on left. Again, if you go, because I'll, I'll keep going down to about the 15, so let's go find mm -hmm. that box. And you're probably going to see the consolidation a lot better. Wow, okay. I see it now, 15, 30, 45, 60. Every four candles is about equivalent to an hour, right? It says you want a 15. Yes, that's correct. Gotcha. So you saw we had the two candles. Well, I won't even go back, so I won't lose it again. But anyway, y'all saw it was just those two candles. Consolidation. I mean, if you didn't know, you're using time correlation anyway, so you should at least came down to 15, and you'd have seen that price is right here consolidating. So what I'll tell you when price is consolidating, you're waiting for price to do what? Close outside the top of the box or the bottom, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we got price to break out where in this case? At the top. Bottom. Bottom, sorry. Yeah, mm -hmm. it broke out the bottom. When it broke out the bottom, what are we waiting for? Retest. 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 That's every breakout. So if you can just go spend a day finding consolidation, retest. Take the trade. So Ty, let me make sure the consolidation is if it's just going in a straight line, if the candles are just going in a straight line. Well, they'll never be going in a straight line, but they will be going sideways. Going sideways, yeah, going sideways. That's consolidation, correct? This information. That is correct. Okay. Yep. Now remember, what was our left shoulder at, the original shoulder? Right here, right? Mm -hmm. We got imbalance below us. Because remember, the way imbalance works is it will push price up, which it did. We're just looking for our entry back down because it has to go back to imbalance. So since it pushed up, we just need to wait for our entry. So when we saw this consolidation happen on the 15th, you get excited and go box it up and get ready. Because you should be expecting a sell to come eventually anyway because, like I said, you've got your left shoulder. Price decided to give you a head at the top. And we said price needs to come back into the shoulder, retest, and take the trade. So even if you missed this first setup, my mouse is like backing up. Let me take this triangle for a second. Remember, this is a zone two, right? This is an imbalance zone. Look at price close outside the zone. What are we supposed to be waiting for if price close outside of a zone, which means it broke out the zone? Retest. See the retest. Look at the retest at imbalance. I mean, it's perfect. The perfect retest. Imbalance is no joke. So, so let's just can, I, can I ask real quick, Ty, that first, right at the top of that consolidation zone, that first break and retest, because I'm I'm still struggling with my entry. Um, right. Since mm -hmm. that since Me that too. bullish candle isn't engulfing, I mean, yeah, no. Since that bearish candle isn't engulfing, are you on that retest? You were you waiting for the second candle to open and close, or like? All right, what, so, what can I look for to do better with that? Because I see that a lot. 
So let me see. Let's just start from here. You let me know which candle after what you asked me about. So this is the breakout candle right here. Mm -hmm. So which candle are you asking about next? This so one? I'm asking about the the bearish candle at the top of the retest. This and one here? That one right there. Yeah. So since that one, since that's retesting, but it didn't engulf that bullish candle to the left, I'm trying to figure, like, were, would you wait for that bearish candle to open and close to the right of it before you get in, or what's well, the... I'm gonna tell you this. I would have been in already. That's the yeah, thing. I know. I'm Okay. So I'm going to show you where. Yep. All right. So for one, you're on the 15 minute, right? Mm-hmm. Why is my last set stuck? So, I said, I want you to look today. All right, so let's look at this, right? I remember because I go all the way down to the one minute, I just see, catch things a little earlier and I can see it. Okay. And then the RSI helps a lot too. Let me Got it. it. So let me show you. But let's just say you own this because this works the same. But I'm going to tell you, I would have entered on, let me see if you can see the way. You see this first candle that broke out, right? Mm -hmm. This price came and it got real close. But it didn't. Okay. The next candle took this pink. I'm in on this candle. Hmm. You in on broke. the, you in on the, the first, was that red one? This first red one. When this first red one finally caught up here and with this, mm -hmm. I'm uh -huh. in the trade right here. Okay. Because to me, this is the initial retest here. And I'm just going to trust consolidation and trust that I know this is my process. Hey, I got a breakout, a retest. I'm at the top of a head. You see where price is? Price was just above the R side. Mm -hmm. We just got back into the R side. What is this really happening right here? The retest from up here. When it came down, right here. Mm -hmm. Which is also what I was bullish and golfing, meaning it was going to pick up, which it did. I know I don't want to erase. Can I hide it? Well, if I hide it, then go away. Getting too crowded over here. But I don't want to take that balance away. But you see this, don't forget, you can mark up your bearish and golfing because you're going to put your. Support resistance around a smaller candle. Mm -hmm. So for you to be safe, what you want to do is wait for price to come back up into here and retest it here, right? Mm -hmm. Price closed below. So I'm figuring I'm going to stick to my rules. So when this closed below, I'm in this trade. Now you did get some pushback when this next candle opened. Mm -hmm. Let's see how much the tracing happens. About four, four pips. And I guess everybody uses anywhere between 10 to 20. Mine's is 10. Only for those other entries, it's about 20. So you see, let's go about 20 pips. All right, 20 pips about there. All right, that's 20 pips. We entering right here. It only went back about 3.3 3 pips. Mm -hmm. But you, let's just say you was watching this trade. You got to get super excited because where did price close? It closed below. Below your engulfing. You got the next retest. Still going. So if you missed getting in here, you could have got in here, and you could have got in here. Okay. So my rule is when I had the first retest, I'm getting this thing because sometimes it don't do all of that. It'll take off right here. Mm -hmm. So if I know that this is a strong zone, which is just structure. This was support. It broke support. Now it created 
a new resistance, take the trade. To be honest, my first TP is usually the end of the zone. So if I quit it from here, I'm taking it there. So 15 pips in like an hour, hour 15 minutes. Then I wait because I'm price played around. When I saw this retest right here, I'm getting it again. Okay. You want to take it zone to zone? This will be about 10 pips. It could have came back, retested, played around, who knows? I just go to the zone. Then I wait. It came back up, retest this area. And if we keep dragging this other pink zone over, where are we back into? What was that shoulder. pink zone? The shoulder. All right. So, yeah, see, so this is shoulder. We played off the head. We caught some cells. Now we back into the shoulder. It retests. Take the trade down to the zone. How many pips is that? Uh, like 28. Yeah. Hey, so, Ty. Yep. Quick question. When you mention, I right, so when you're looking at price on trading, well, when you're looking at price up top and then you're looking down at the RSI, you see sometimes price won't always peak at that oversold, I mean, overbought line. How close? Does that RSI line or how, yeah, how close do you let that RSI line get to that, to that overbought, yeah, to the overbought line before you think it's safe to take a sell or a buy? Well, I would say this, whenever price is at the overbought sold, those are like the best places to get your yeah. setups mm -hmm. because we have to get back into the zone. Right. Price is never really too much out that zone. Okay. We stayed in here a long time. Prices, you know, it doesn't do it too often, but when it do, it's a beautiful thing. Catch mm -hmm. it. The so, smaller the uh, time frame, it happens more often. You see that peak right there where you just was? Right here. Yeah. Right here. Cool. So that that right there, like, would you get into a sale right there? All right. Good question. So think about it again like this. Remember, this is also support and resistance. Mm -hmm. So this was the peak, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Think about it this way. My mouse is trash today, bro. It still didn't break that last high. All right. So you see this peak here, right? Yep. You see this peak. Mm -hmm. All right. Price went over. Time to sell. Now, mind you, price would jerk down first before the candles move down. So that is a plus. Right. Down a little bit before price move. So let's just say you didn't catch this drop, right? Think about it this way. The price is left one. It dropped. If it was over the line, it came back under. This is nothing but the retest. Ooh. Below, we retest in the sell line. Broke below, we retest in the sell line. Oh. I got you now. So now this is your next entry. We gotta think the same thing. We're gonna sell high, buy low. The closer prices to the sell line, the better your chance mm -hmm. for a good trade. Gotcha. Even if, even let's just say you got in right here, right? Price at this and it dipped down. Mm -hmm. Right? You gotta think your goal. To probably want to get out of a trade, like if we looking at it on a 15 minute, and that's another thing to think about. If you're on a 15 minute time frame, you trading off of this, and you see price get all the way back down here, it's probably time to close the trade if you're in the sell. Right. That's why we are now close back to the bottom line. Mm -hmm. You probably weigh in a 20 pip profit. You know, so now if you're in the hour time frame, same thing. So you see. This is where divergence, you'll start to understand it a little better because you see this here, right? This is where we, we high up. Mm -hmm. And start going down. 
But it's a little soft. It's only on the one hour. Let me see how much is that. Like 22 pips or whatever. Yeah, then the next one, that's why I kind of trade one move, I get out. Once it go down so a lot, I'm getting out. Because look, then right after this move, you have what? Another retest. Not even a retest. Look at those candles. Matter of fact, Raven, what we got right there? Oh, that's bullish and go. No. I'm so sorry, I was on... I was on mute. Oh, my fault. I can't hear you. My fault, Ty. I was, I'm sorry, Raven. I was screaming, and I was, uh, but I was on mute. That was Raven. She, she told me to say that. My fault. Yeah, yeah her voice just got a little deeper. You know what I'm saying? Cool. I'm going on mute. Y'all go ahead. So it went down, and then look what happened. Now, I will say this. When you have, like, well, sure, on this, then we do they Peaks are sharp, but the pointier the curve, the better. The better, yeah. Because when it's smoother, it's a little bit different. But when it's like pointy, like you get those bigger, strong moves up. So, you see, we had price up here by the sell right. Price is here. So when it drops down, what did price do? We patient, because for one, we've seen this from right here. We've seen a point. So that means price is pushing back up to the sell line. Okay? We're pushing back up. This is telling you we're going up, and then our bullish engulfing is telling we're going back up. And then I told y'all, always put your support and resistance around the body of the left candle. What happened with price? It went up and retest. So this is showing you we about to go up. It went up. So this is gonna help you with your divergence now. Because what happened? Price went up, right? But what happened on the R side? Price stayed. It didn't get it didn't go higher. It's staying pretty much straight. So this is also telling us, hey, a seller's coming. So think about this right here. Because this is the truth. This is the Fugazi part. This is the scam. Because clearly they're pushing price up. But clearly, people are not buying anymore. They're selling. So why is price pushing up? Trap. Go for the trap. So when this next one opened up, you just be patient. Because it's not ready. Because we actually just got another what? What variation do we get again? A bullish? Yep. Price is going up. Here you go, Raven. <laughs> so it went up again. All the way up here. That's about one, two, three. Stay under trend. We always know the third touch usually is the great move, the big move. Then we're going to check the R side one more time. Is it lower? Lower. Does anybody know what this is down here? No, I don't. M pattern? M pattern. This is a double top. We've got one sharp piece. You said it's called M pattern? Yep. I don't know where I put the other side.
Anybody got questions while I fix this thing? No, no, no. I just got to study some more. I'm trying to know the, I mean, you know, get get a good idea about the candles and patterns and stuff like that. So. <laughs> okay. Ty, when you're saying the candle is opening or closing, is it something we're looking for as far as like the wick? in the can in the candle or something when you're saying it opened or it closed have you went through all your school series yet i need to go back i okay. need to go back and look at some notes i took okay so let's pull up the candle real quick right You definitely got to go back through your 100 and 200 series. So this is your wick. Your wick, this is the whole body. Right? You know, this, depending on if it's a buy or sell, this would be your open, this would be a close. Price opened here on this red candle, it closed up here. Price opened up here, it closed there. So let me just put up a line to help. Explain a little bit better. This particular candle closed up here, so it closed above this black line because it closed up here. It finished this body right here at the top. This particular candle closed here where the body stops below the candle. So when we're trading, we're waiting for a price to close below a line support, resistance, whatever it is, and then come back and touch it, which would be the retest. Same thing here. Price was below this line. Then this particular red candle, it closed which side of the line, above or below? Below? The red candle. Above, above, it's close above. Your bullish candles open down here, close up here. Okay, the bullish candles. Gotta make sure you always tap into your classes, refresh them, watch them over and over. Somebody was asking me a question. I'm sorry, I kind of forgot. I didn't want to uh, leave it hanging though. So here we go. I'll move this over here. And I was at that um, divergence session. Yeah, we was um we was hitting that trend line. Um and we had divergence on the RSI. Here it was. All right. We had the price going up. So again, just keep in mind, this is the sell line up here. 
we got Christ going up. We just have to be patient to watch what happened here with the divergence and what's happening here. And I think what's happening sometimes we're getting like we'll see divergence. This mouse has been so annoying right now. Look at this mouse pad. It's trash. All right, so we got that version. So I don't, I think I was maybe entering like maybe over here somewhere. I don't know, but I was entering before it was dropping. I know that was for sure. Mm -hmm. So then I was started to pay attention because when I started doing HFX, I'm like, oh, this car size lit. Like, I need to be using this more often. <sighs> yeah, my mouse is just mess, y'all. So sorry. I gotta move down here. So. Yeah, I have to keep losing my spot. It's annoying. All right, here we go. I think this is what it was last time when I was explaining that break and retest. But it's like you gotta try to be patient because sometimes we get, we see the cell, well, we actually won't see the cell. This is the first time it's dropping, but if you was to catch this over so far and it dropped back in, this would have been a good set of the tape. Like I said, if you missed it, you don't want to enter when, basically the R side is kind of going in the middle, like it's choppy, but it's in the middle. That's also like consolidation. Mm -hmm. So when price first dropped and then it started going down and you see it starting to snap up like that, you got to be careful because that's basically saying that retest is coming. So now all you got to do is wait for the RSI on the same time frame you're watching to peak up again closer back to the RSI and then wait for it to bend. So what happens is people don't wait for this bend to happen. So you'll get stuck thinking, oh, all right, this is the retest. We in there. Everybody tells me after the retest, it's a sell, but then price sometimes will just keep going up there. We all be tight because then it'll, it'll drop down after the fact. That's because all of us, I think, was entering like over here somewhere, like back here, not knowing price is still down here. We needed to wait to see something like this, a move up with a bend down. Not saying you couldn't capitalize if you got in a little late, but if you was looking for a sale, now you gotta wait like a couple hours be in negative sixteen pips when if you'd have just waited for price to get closer up to the R side. Look what happened when the R side broke above again. Cause you know, somebody seen this sharp thing because we told that hey. When it bends sharply, get in the cell, right? Mm -hmm. So somebody would have been like, oh, I'm new. She said, when it bends, take the cell. But it's like you got to remember everything else I told you. What do you see right here? Is anything telling you to sell right now? Nope. Uh, we, actually nah. just, we actually just broke above structure and we tested and came up. Mm hmm what we should have said was, oh, all right, nah, I ain't got no sell yet. I don't know what's about to happen, but I got consolidation. I got consolidation. So we got consolidation this way. Let's just go backwards. Got consolidation. I will go all the way to the one minute. Look at the one minute. Let me change this color.
All right, look at the woman. How many kids have you got in consolidation? More than enough. More than enough. So people ain't gotta be scared of one minute. Oh, the candles move fast. No, count slower. One, two, three, four. I mean, it's a lot of candles. You should like get super excited. That's the whole hour worth of consolidation. And all we waiting for is what, guys? Who know what we waiting for? Breakout. Waiting for a breakout. Do we care which way breakout? Nope. We just wanted to break out either way. We don't care. We just want to see a retest. But that's this is where we're gonna pay attention now to see and become comfortable on how to get in the trade. Now you see we on a one minute, right? My rule is on the one minute, I'm ten pips either direction from consolidation. This is my stop loss. It don't matter. I don't know which side I enter on. It's going to be my stop loss. Ten pips. All right. This is how I like stop loss area. Now you see where price is on the R side, right? It's in the middle. Mm -hmm. That's a consolidation currently. So depending on where price goes, whether it goes up here or down here, that's going to help us figure out which one we're going to want to do, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to get our entries right, guys. We're going to get it. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, for sure, bro, because that man. Everything else is good. We, can, we, we, we go right to the pot of gold. We just can't pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> and All then right. the market leprechauns be out there blocking. <laughs> All right, now, even though we're not going to trade and enter in consolidation, we can still use what we see in it, right, guys? Mm -hmm. What variation is popping up right now? Popped up here first. Come on, guys. Y'all know what this is. Where you at, Ray? Well, yeah. What's this variation before candy? Bullish engulfing. Yep. What's the next two? That's, that's bullish engulfing too, isn't it? Which one was your point at? Both of them. You was right. Yeah. Stay with confidence. Okay. <laughs> Stay with your chest. Yeah. All right. No, even if we was. You know, sometimes I like to super sniper. I'm snipering on the one minute. So I told y'all we always do what when we see bullish and girlfriend. We mark up the bullish candle. I mean, the bearish candle, the smaller one. Just the body, not the width. Did we get a retest right here? Mm hmm What would you do with that break and retest? What you can do with that? Take the bar. Right, so we took the bar, that means this is going to be our entry. So now we need to set our 10 pips because we, we're going to get it earlier. So now this is our 10 pips. It's up here. All right. So if y'all down with Todd, we in the bar here because we like bullish and girlfriend panels. We trust them. So I'm looking at the RSI. We kind of in the middle, but it's kind of going up. It's kind of what? What is these two right here? Double bottom. Double bottom. All right, let's just play. Let's see what we get. Yeah, I see that first candle closed above. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's check. We already in this, right, guys? We got in right here. Mm hmm This kind of came back and retest the zone. Okay. So where did price break outside of the box? Above or below? Above. And then the next candle opened where? 
Thanks for that for me to continue for this. It, are you talking about the second red candle? Yeah, the that candle closed above the box, right? Mm -hmm. The second candle is your entry. Right. The sniper inside consolidation, because we tell people don't trade inside of consolidation. But if I see certain variations, I'm gonna get in my trade even earlier. Let me see something. Uh, let's go to the one hour and see where that purple is. So we can find it. I can't see it in there. All right, y'all can see right here. Mm -hmm. That's our entry. Look where the price is. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Hey, yo, that's the 15 minute candle. So we know we right at those two lines. So we right here. And this is when I'd be like that one minute sonic boom and literally be one hour candle. And then at that one hour candle, it's over, the trade be over. But I'll be in all the way down here, guys. All right. So let's just press play. It's now for the people who missed this entry, because they're going to follow the safe food. They're going to wait for price to close outside and get in on this candle, right? So, got to trust your analysis. All right, let's talk about, let's see how many pips that is from here. Well, actually, no, we're going to enter from that top of the box. All right, so that's only 10 pips, non pips, but. You got that in like two minutes though. Two, three minutes, 10 pips. Look at the RSI. On the mm -hmm. one minute, hit the top. So if you scalping and you only want 10 pips real quick, you should be out of this trade. Even if you only ended up with like eight. And you see the RSI is this high, you super scalping. Because mind if you was on SPX and you did the same move, you'd probably be up 20, 30, 40 pips or Bitcoin, whatever it is. But it all works on all the pairs. It's just that the price is different on the side. So this won't pay as much, but if this was like some of those other pairs, and you only had to take this RSI from down here up to, or actually this bend here up to the top, you make a lot of money and be safe in and out. But if we're trading from like the one hour, and you see where the RSI is, is up here. This is also telling you we're pretty peaked out. It's time to get out this trade. If anything, you should be looking now for what kind of setup. What should we be looking for now that we done went all the way to the top? Sure. Should be looking for a sell. The one hour we up on our side. You kind of already got in balance because this is the last blue. The, uh, so this is us trading, right? This is where price is. Let's just say this is where price is before I press play. You need to know, all right, so what am I doing? Let me erase this. You're like, all right, what am I doing? Well, you know, I got in balance. So I could work with that right now. I go to my wick and I count up one, two, three. Go across. Now we went and found that setup. Somebody want to walk me through what they could have did with this pair? Are you talking about the two red candles at the end? 
I'm not talking about any candles. I just want to know, currently where price is right now, can anybody see a setup they could take? Like if I told you it was a setup ready right now, and you just had to pick buy or sell, what would be your choice at this particular moment, looking at what we just went over? Anybody can answer. Uh, Why are you thinking buy? Because they ain't go. I probably will wait. You said engulfing. The first answer. Yeah. What do you see engulfing? Like? What kind of engulfing? Bullish. What do you see bullish engulfing? Right oh, it's now? not because the price closed below that candle. Yep. So I retract my answer. Anybody else? I just said I wouldn't buy. I will wait. I kind of want to say I will buy because it looks like that that um that red bullish engulfing that broke out of that zone. Dang, I think I missed the juice. That's a breakout right there. And then where those little consolidating candles are, those three might be the retest. Ah. Oh man, what did I miss? <laughs> you okay? No worries. So remember, this purple line was on balance, right? Mm hmm. From the one hour. So now we're on the 15 minutes. Price was above. The price shot all the way back down. Yeah. Clearly, it was going to shoot down. Why? Because we had oversold here and it crossed the boat. Mm hmm. Then we after we know after a sharp move down, price is gonna go up. That's why you had this big peak and it went up. The key is and balance is a key zone. It's either gonna be prices above it, it's buys. If prices below it, should be looking for sell. At this particular moment, the first candle that closed above the purple is this one right here, right? Mm-hmm. And you see it closed above the purple because the body closed here above the purple. Then, as we was saying, price came back and retest on top of the imbalance zone. So if we break above something and retest it, this is what I'll be telling myself for me to learn because it was I was struggling. I was thinking about myself being poor, not necessarily poor, but only got a one-story house. Mm -hmm. And I told myself I want to get a second floor, but I'm clumsy. So I gotta break through the floor, make a hole, right? Before I can continue on, make sure I don't fall through the hole. I better come back down here and close the hole. After I close the hole, now I could go on about my business and chill above. Ooh, sauce, straight trap, man. So at this point, you know, sometimes we get excited. We fancy now. We we get millions. All right, we need another floor. Same thing, we broke through again. But before we can move on, we've got to secure ourselves. Close the floor up again. The next move. Ooh, that's straight 100 series right there. Mm-hmm. Same thing, over and over. Wow. So that's nothing but wow. your high, high, your high, high. So... But any breakout, so we don't punch the damn hole through the ceiling. We gotta close it up. On this place, it's like, nah, I actually wanna go downstairs. Uh, I gotta go to the second floor. You know, that's where my shower is. But before I could continue on, I better close the latch so nobody else don't fall through. And now I continue about my business. And now we got a new lower high. A lower low. He's taking price down to the boom boom room right there. Uh. <laughs> now we're back and then, you know, this is our resistance. So we know 
We ain't been this slow. Let's just say, because this is out in balance. We ain't been this slow. For us to get this slow, we're going to need a stronger drill. So I say this is when your bullish engulfing is coming to play. Because that's when you'll see that last little candle, right? And we need somebody big to come through to break it. That is a break of structure. Which is also our bearish, bearish engulfing. So what I tell you after we break a hole in the floor, what we gotta do to it? We'll gotta patch it back up. Yeah, fix it. Gotta go fix it. We retest and we closed it. All right, boom. We feel safe. Not gonna fall on our head. Now we about our business. We get to go to the next level. Then you get down there and be like, now. Nah. This is the project, this roach is a wreck. I'm out, I'm going back up. Matter of fact, I ain't even closing the door. <laughs> <laughs> the <upper room. laughs> I did. And then you'll see Pricey like, now nah, I'm chilling, I'm, I'm lying. Let me kill a few roaches first. And then before you know it, Price is making. I mean, and it'll just repeat it back to those same zones again. Oh, double bottom. Oh, a back pattern. It's all the same crap. Everybody's just calling it something else. I promise you. Oh, what's a double bottom? Oh, a back pattern. Same thing. What's your higher highs and higher lows? Head and shoulders. Everybody's teaching the same stuff. You just call it something different. Ty, you got everything right there on one chart. You got it. Goddamn magician, <laughs> Bearish and golfing. Bat pattern. And talent. And show. W's. And the Lions, tigers, and bears. Oh, my. <laughs> right, let's just play this out. Let's see what happens. But not but price of the same thing over and over. It almost be like, what? I thought that was oh that's how that shows me. Oh, that's talking shit. Oh no, that's a twenty five of life. Oh, it's the same thing, same. So Philly, you the good you the good money taking that that bar. Yeah, I got to work on my, it's mindset and confidence now. I think I got the charts figured out. We left our left shoulder. We laid our head. I mean, I almost couldn't do that more perfectly. Because I, I would have seen it. I definitely would have been scared to take it. Mm-hmm. You're not going to be scared. You're getting closer to the RSI, right? Yeah, I'm going to try to use that more. So I need to get this retest down. Greg, use it, brother. All that blue that I dropped in the chat earlier was just from practicing on this RSI. And, and yeah. You see the bend? Mm-hmm. You know, also know we pretty much at the top of the head. And this is where everybody really get messed up. Because they're like, oh, my God, I got it so early. So it's like, you okay? You're in a 15 minute. You hop on the RSI. You got to come down. Back to the bottom of the R side. So your goal is at least be patient enough, even if you couldn't read candles. I could literally probably erase all the candles and just trade the R side. And have some power and have the same effect. Uh, you would be the one to figure that out, though. I'm going to tell you who showed that, Matt. Dr. Spiller did that one. Yeah, sure, no problem. Spiller, you still on that bar? <laughs> sure. Oh, you on this? <laughs> no, I'm saying, but you took a bar on this. Yeah, I would have closed out at 20 pips. Right, and then you could have seen another break and retest because it happened again. Well, look at that. That's nuts. See, every time I try to ride a trade out like that, it end up coming back down. 
Mm-hmm. Closing me out. Yeah, because why the R star still stuck here? Now I know. <laughs> so look, you know, you see, you got this going straight. Let me see, you had it going straight, right? So mm-hmm. we'd be like, ooh, oh, I saw that version right here. I was like, but when was you really supposed to get in? This is like the perfect setup for that version. Can somebody tell you why? After what we just learned and went over. You said, what was that question? Why would this be an excellent setup to have taken? Oh. We are trying to get y'all into these entries. What about the screens? Keep the trade. Well, it was just above price. Price just bought, overbought that um, line. So we, we know it's going to come back and retest it and probably come back down for the sale. And even if it don't go all the way back to the bottom line, which is the bottom of the RSI, we know it got to come at least halfway. Mm-hmm. Right. Plus, we're above the RSI, so it definitely has to come back in. Secondly, we got price already stolen out. We got price going sideways. And then we got that bearish engulfing um, area right there, yeah. Cause I'm trying to I'm trying to get this this retest down, Ty, and I it it basically looked like it touched that line, touched that retest area. So you would say af- so after that candle closes, or or would you even wait until that candle closes? Cause that's the part I'm trying to get down. Would you wait until that that bullish candle closes where it's hitting that engulfing zone before you enter, or you? You go ahead as soon as it touches it. Depending on what I'm seeing, if I'm at the top top or something, then all I need is a retest to happen. But most likely, let me just make this a little bit here. All right. It goes back to smart money. And I think Sierra going to start helping with this. She's going to go over it more with you guys. Mm-hmm. But smart money is really basically consolidation. And instead of putting a box, they just usually put a line where price was close to load it. So when you look at price on sideways, right, you find the last candle. That's what the group, first one, right there. Put the line where that last candle closed. The other one closed the lowest. This there, right? Same mm-hmm. thing for the top. You find the candle. That close the highest and just put your support there. So it's about there. Let me extend this out actually. Oh, I went the wrong way. Mm-hmm. All right. So remember, we love consolidation. This is smart money. Price was above here. Price stuck up here, but price came from down here. So let's just say you was even scalping real quick. You wanted to get a quick setup. Go try to find a balance. Try to find your bullish and girlfriend that made price get up here. So you can know where your target is for one. So we see this bullish and girlfriend right here. You could just put one line for where it closed above. Same thing right here. Here's your bullish engulfing, right? Mm-hmm. But you also got your imbalance. So this is the wick. And that's the third candle wick. So you go across. So this is what I was talking about. Right? This is be my TP1. My engulfing is my TP2. Mm-hmm. This is also imbalance. This third candle wick came all the way down here, so I'm going to draw it down to there. All right, so we got our balance. This is consolidation. So if you need to see it, 
I like to box it up because it helps me see when it breaks out. So, price broke out. But I tell you, I get in the trade is that first touch, right? Mm -hmm. that's my rule is the first touch. So say we broke out. I want to make sure I don't miss it because price may go up or it may go down. All I know is on whatever my entry is, I'm looking at consolidation. I need my TP, I mean my stop loss to be 10 pips from the box. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to think out and see if I can find my 10 pips. About right there. So ties in this trade, right? Price had eventually broke down. This to me is a retest and it sharply turns. Mm -hmm. It is lower. Yes, it's turning back up, but this is also just a retest. It's almost like you almost could put your lungs down here, so to speak. Oh, that was the last peak. All right, we'll put it there. Oh, that was the last peak. It's like price of the same thing on the R side. It's kind of crazy, but this is telling you the real stuff because that's the orders, the volume of orders. But this is just the market showing us price reaching all the different zones, but these are the actual orders. So let's just play it because I'm in right here. This our stop low. We close, we just came from the top of the R side. We got in balance all the way down here. And we also have, what is this? Previous consolidation. So this would be our what? TP3. TP3. But it's also our what? The first what? This is consolidation. So consolidation also known as your what? Hot quiz, up to the nest. Support? The shoulder. Left, left hand, shoulder, left hand, shoulder. Left shoulder. Left shoulder. So what is this up here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to be good. I'm trying to be good. <laughs> <laughs> My first training. I'll never forget that. Yeah, when we get rich, that's going to be the funniest. Bro. Funny story, Ty. Yes. I, it takes me a lot not to say it. I try not to say it. <laughs> <laughs> I get it, though. It don't make sense. <laughs> I never Too much for the baby traders. <laughs> That's funny. So, you know, orange strategy for the hand of shoulders is he wants you to wait for price to come back into this area. I feel like we can eat this and then eat this. So, we know we got imbalance we need to come back to. We can't have a balance. We have to fill it back up. Plus, we know price likes to go up and up and up, and then it comes down and down and down, and go up and up and up. So right here, we got consolidation. We got excited because consolidation means we're going to have a breakout either way. Mm -hmm. So we did. Ah, uh, boom. We broke out. We got the retest. We end this trade. We are all in this trade. We are going to take our trades. We're not going to be fearful. We clearly see we got consolidation. We clearly see we came from a left shoulder. We clearly see we came from imbalance. We clearly see we just broke out of the oversold section and the retest. All right. Let's play. Goodness. Look at that drop. Bruh. Look, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Boom. I'm out after that. I'm done. I'm done for the week. I'm done. I'm, I'm set, bro. And then it's down. Yeah. And then it's at the bottom. Claude, have mercy. So we're not done. We like, oh, we caked up. You know, we got our little. 35 pips and hour 45. We've been in the charts way more than that. Mm. But we sexy because we like, yo, did that thing just bust out the over shows? I mean, over section? Ooh. 
Mm. We just broke back in. What do we have here? Yeah. We are back in this imbalance zone. This last candle did what? Broke out. It closed. It broke out and closed above. What kind of candle is this? The retest. retest. What is happening down here at the R side? Retest. Coming back to the retest. What are we about to do? Buy like hell. <laughs> Lighten up. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We're not lighting up. So what's the TP one? That next imbalance. That imbalance at the, in the middle. No, that engulfing zone. First engulfing zone. They might only come here and go back, keep going back there. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they might hit the imbalance zone. Might hit this one. Might hit this one. We just not gonna be greedy. What we gonna do is, like, let me make sure it's even worth it. Like, uh, I still don't like that. Like That's definitely one thing I don't do. That's like fifteen. I'd be like, it's all worth it, cause I'm about to get wealthy. Now you gonna get out of that? You compounding. You don't want to be tired after a year. It's gonna be six months. Uh, I'm not good. Get my way. All right. So we need our ten tips from outside the box. All right. The box is somewhere. That's ten tips. You don't do ten tips from your uh, entry time. Outside the consolidation, my entry is out inside the zone. My stop loss need to be ten tips from outside the zone. Okay. We trade zone to zone. We do not trade outside the zone. We trade inside. Because why we need to know that we've been broken, we trust them. So we it's really been... like 30 pips. <clears throat> so in this case, from here, from here, well, from your entry to outside the box. So that'll be like eight, 17 pips. Mm -hmm. so I just know I count 10 pips and know your entry is here. Okay. So, yep. Over here on the left shoulder, that big bearish engulfing candle that busts out of that engulfing zone. Mm -hmm. What about it? I don't see any bearish engulfing right there. I mean, bullish engulfing right there. How would you have picked up on that? Would you have scaled down to the one minute to yeah, see? That's why I go to the one minute. Mm -hmm. Oh, got you. Yeah, All right. Really miss it. But what I will say is you still could have caught it because you do have, remember what we went over about paying attention to consolidation? There's a little moves that happen right before it take off. Mm -hmm. you see it now? The, the double top? No. Your bullish and golf is over the Oh, mm. for that. Oh, okay. Bro, that's so slick, yo. They be slipping right under my nose. Yeah, like mm. it happens right at right. It usually happens right beforehand because I keep telling y'all it takes bullish engulfing candles, bearish engulfing candles, to send a signal and to break the zone. So when we had all of this and you've seen this coming, I will mark up my thing. Mm -hmm. so we have to make sure 10 pitch from the box right there. So when this came here, it's in the zone. It's not outside the zone. I'm going to take this trade. When this post here, I'm going to go. If it happened to go down this far, it never really went. So if my entry is here. So do you, do you wait for the candle after the engulfing candle to finish, complete its move before you do something? I just wanted to touch it. Okay. Before, I didn't wait for it to touch it. I, I didn't have confidence in that. I would wait for it to close. Mm -hmm. To see where it closed. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this one closed here, out of the internet. Then we still get some more drill down. It was like, 
Be protect yourself. I take two pip jar down any day. Any day. Yeah, any day. So, but let's just say, you know, unfortunately, we missed that move, right? We missed mm-hmm. it. But then we got a new what? Some people may not have caught that little one. But it's, it's bullish and broken. Gotta retest here, retest here. It drew down, but it's still closed. In the zone, not below sector. Mm-hmm. But again, if you missed that one, all right, we know how to trade in balance, right? What we need with imbalance, same thing. We need it to break. Did it not break? Gave you a yeah, it did. Take it to the next zone. Trade in balance all day. So Only gave you seven. We held it, but. Or oh, if you're smart, you know, it got up close to here. And then you just move your stop loss. Back to your entry. And see if you keep going. Now me, I don't do it at break even. You gotta be at least five, six pips because they're going you gotta pay for your spread if mm-hmm. it comes back down. So, you know, you can move your stop loss up and see if that goes to the next imbalance zone. Because if you notice and balance zones change sizes, right? So you see how this is a big zone, real small, kind of medium, this is kind of big. Think of it as major zone, little minor zone. That's why this area just got bust through like nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that zone ain't even need to be there. No. Like, it just <laughs> Hey, Todd, so when you trailing your stop loss to cover your spread, what was that you were saying? I was saying that if your spread is six cents, 12 cents, or whatever the cents isn't, right? Because if you got 0.01, or well, you got to pay for your commission, actually, so it's five cents. Seven awesome. cents. Yeah. So if you put your break even at zero, you're still going to lose money. You're going to lose mm-hmm. your five cent commission. Mm-hmm. So technically, you didn't break even. So if you want to secure your bag, at least put your stop loss five picks up or six picks up. Okay. Then you break even to zero. You put it seven picks, get one penny. Gotcha. So guys, you see we back up into the zone. We got a retest. Who's buying? Who's nervous? Or who's buying? I'm nervous, but I'm buying. I'm buying what you want in Zoom right now, but tomorrow morning <laughs> I'm sitting at my desk over here. I'll buy some tea. I'm gonna yeah, need like, that I'm gonna stop like, up. You're gonna be, really? you gonna be kind. <laughs> How you feeling, big dog? <laughs> what you buying? I'm trying to the demo account and watch mm-hmm. me make bands. Bands. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, let's go to the one minute. Let's get, let's feel more confident. Got to lead with no fear. So you see that yellow box with that area on the 15 minute, right? Mm-hmm. All right, so let's think about Let's think about this. Look at that up closer. We're on the one minute. We got enough candles. There's going to be a fader. Look how price respects these zones, right? So, if we were looking to get in this zone and price was over here, it's the first time price broke through, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So now we all have to do what? Be patient for it to come back and touch this. So it came down, but then touch it. So you need a literal touch because I would have messed uh-huh. up and got in. I would have got in at that, that you see that second um, bullish candle? Yeah, bullish I would have got in right there. Mm-hmm. And we're on the one minute. So, you know, you're going to wait for this touch. Cool. These are moves. You, if, if, you, if you're nice and it's worth it on the pair. I'm all for that, but I mean, NZDS, you're only going to give you like four pips for that. Did you say if you're nice? 
nice <laughs> if you have SPX or NAS 100. That's oh, more yeah, like that. 40 pips. But remember, Ooh. you must have the 15. And this is why some of us missed the move, because we're trying to watch it on the 15, and we're missing it. Mm -hmm. Down here is my shoulder, head, right shoulder. And that's another thing. That's how people used to be as violated, because we were told when it comes back here, we're supposed to be able to sell it down. But this is just how you catch all the tips. So that's the one minute. All right, so let's watch this. See what happens. Okay, let's talk about this right here. We just wait for Christ to touch, to retest, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a breakout. We just wait for the touch. So we watch him, and you know we got the time on the side that's counting down the seconds. So you sitting there like, okay, we got 20 seconds counting down. And then it finally closed. Would you feel even more comfortable that it closed like this above Christ to enter in the body? Me personally, no, only because mm -hmm. I don't see much like engulfing like it's still. But I mean, granted, this is the one minute, but I'm not seeing much. So I, I wouldn't be confident yet. I thought I would have had to wait for bullish engulfing right there. Mm -hmm. So this is what you got to remember. We are analyzing on the high time frame, only looking for our entry on one minute. So think about the 15 minutes, right? Mm -hmm. that. So are you basically saying if we find the engulfing on a higher time frame and then we go to the lower time frame to see that same engulfing, it's not like we have to look for another engulfing on that lower time frame? No, because what you, you got to think of it this way. Um, how can I put it this good? Basically, you have to think of it this way. This is the 15-minute candle, right? 15 minute candle. This mm -hmm. is going to have this one piece of space is going to have 15 one minute candles inside of it. Mm -hmm. So the issue is this candle broke through and balanced and a couple of engulfing zones because we know the black lines are engulfing zones and we know the pinks are imbalanced, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the 15 minute. We're, set, we're told that we can only enter trade if it breaks the zone and we as we get in. This one candle shows no break to retest. Mm -hmm. So how are we going to enter in? So when you go to the one minute, right? The goal was to find our entry to get into this cell. So, remember I told you guys I trade zone to zone, right? Mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. that in this particular cell, I needed this price to break whatever happened above for me to be in the cell. So I told you when we make in drops, we have to break through and patch the hole up, right? All so, right. this is my zone, my last zone. It's unbalanced. I have to wait for price while price is playing above because basically this is support right now. It's staying above the support. Mm -hmm. We need price to break support on the one minute. You see this break? It clearly broke support. The next candle closed below. The next candle is the retest. If you want to patiently wait for your retest candle to close then until you build enough confidence. Mm -hmm. The breakout. If it in touch, this is the one that touched first. Wait for it to close. You got 60 seconds. Wait for it to close. If it closes below, get in the trade. 
Okay. Now we have now broke a hole through our floor and we have closed up the hole completely. And obviously we can't close our body in the hole because how are we gonna chill down here if we close our body up here? Okay, shoot it. Our body must be outside so we can the body has to be out, yeah. So we broke the hole. We're looking at the hole. We closed the hole. Time or, and there's no, and that's why you don't have to wait for another engulfing pattern right here. We are breaking and retesting at the end of the And technically, you do have right. a bullish engulfing. I mean, a bearish engulfing, in no reality. Sometimes mm -hmm. you may not get it, but as if you can remember, as I told you, imbalance and the bullish and bearish patterns go together because look how many bearish and golf you got. This is a signal. We're selling. Mm -hmm. We're selling. Hello. Get ready. Go get dressed. Take a shower. We're going out. What are you waiting for? Okay. Yeah. So. And again, if you need help, fuck them up. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're doing another one? Okay, but we're still in imbalance. So I'm, I'm going to chill. I'm going to wait. I'm going to be patient. But you are, you are telling me. Where did the retest happen at, though? Right mm -hmm. there. Mm-hmm. So remember, guys, we broke a hole, we patched it up, we stayed outside the hole. So clearly, we want to be outside where we just closed. If we wanted to be up here, then we'd have sealed it up and our body would have closed up here. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like where the body closed, let you know which hole you closed up. So if you close up the hole above your head, you can't get back in. You don't want to get back in. You're going down. You just told us not close it. We ain't going that way. We're going down. Same thing here. So it's like it didn't happen until right here. So in this case, if you were using that same strategy where it broke and retest on the one minute, it's like you can't even use that because we're on the one minute for entry. There's nothing. If we're going to use this, we would need to go back 30 seconds, 20 seconds to know what to do. So you can't never start here. You got to start here. So in a sense where, I don't even know what I'm saying now. All right. Let me see what price is now. Where we left off. All right, so we're right here. And this is the five minutes. So we got a bullish and go for another five minutes. Let's be testing that zone. Back to the 15 minutes. So the 15 minutes, we had no, really no pattern yet. But which I'll be looking for, you know, there's no pattern. We look like on a one hour. Look what the one hour looks like. A big old whip. Mm-hmm. Because they thinking about smart money. This is where it starts last well. So this is where all the buyers got in at. All the buyers. So, you know, that's a lot of people that got their stop loss over there because they went to sleep and they got all their orders in with their take profits. They got their take profits probably at like, let's just say six to six five zero. They're already in profit. The stop loss is probably over here in one of these zones. So price make sure to come back down first, take all these people out so they don't get all the bags, and then take back over. Sorry. No, you're yes, fine. So that's why. One, of, one of my uh, things I have an issue with, like, it tells me that I'm. 
um doing a invalid stop loss take profit. Who's speaking? This is Asina. Um, I'm not sure. It depends on your broker. I'm not. Sometimes it's, you're not entering the cash um, may be already past that area. I would have to like see you go through it one time, but it's sometimes it's what we're entering. Okay. It'll say invalid stop loss, invalid take profit. Yeah, it'll say invalid. Even even when I did the, if I'm copying and pasting, um, and then what what I did today when I copy and paste, because usually I know they said to use market execution, but this time I didn't use market execution. I just did a buy sell. And I enter in like the selling price and then a stop loss and take profit and it took it. But usually I would just use market ex execution and put in just my take profit and stop loss. And it depends on um, what it is. It say, it'll say it's an invalid. Okay, yeah, it's, it's a sell stop, sell limits and buy stop. It, it's usually when we're entering, because I just have that same issue. It's something about how we're entering is not uh, correct. And depending on what price is, it won't enter depending on what type you're putting in. Okay. A buy stop and a buy limit are really two different things. Are you sure about um, which one you were trying to put? Like what they mean? Yep. I wrote it down. I went over it even when, um, even when it told me that it was invalid, I went back over it. And we we'll just wrote how, they, how I saw it, like the take profit, the stop loss. Uh, went back and entered it in again, and it wasn't it. But it was only until I did a sale limit. I think that's what it is, a sale limit. And then you write, you enter the the price, and then the stop loss and the um, take profit, and it went through. Yes, yeah, that's what I'm saying. The sale limit and sell stop. Of two different things. So depending on where the price was, it's not going to let you put in a sell stop because the okay. price is going to be somewhere different. So it's going to be invalid. Your selling was probably accurate because you understand the selling means price was below and it had to come up and then go down. A sell stop means price was all the way above and it's going to continue to keep going without stopping. Okay. Gotcha. So if you put in a sell stop and prices below, it's going to say, hey, I can't put this in because we're not even up there yet. And that was sort of market execution, right? Because that's, that's the one I was having a problem with, the market execution. No, yeah, I was talking about sell stop, sell limit, because you said the sell limit works and not the sell stop. Yeah, no, no, no. It, I'm sorry. Maybe I miss. Maybe I uh, confused you. So you know how when you... Um, you're going to do the stop loss and the, the take profit and it has the market execution, the buy uh, limit, the sell limit, and there's something else it has on there. So mm -hmm. I was, I was not able to do it off the market execution, but I did it off the sell limit, if that makes sense. Yeah, most likely it's probably just a user error, unfortunately. Excuse okay. Me. Yeah. I will have to see what you did that day. Okay. <clears throat> Anybody have questions? I gotta get off of this thing soon. No, but I'm gonna I'm definitely get more confident with this retest. I think that's my biggest thing. I'm about to go, sorry, I'm go back to us right now. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm But shoot, I appreciate you, Ty. And I appreciate you guys. Yeah. You gotta keep chapter in. Yeah, thanks, Ty. We learn new stuff every day. I learn new stuff every day. Appreciate I mean, I you. Art, so I'm like, wait a minute, what? what? <laughs> I'm not. Like, dang, you send me flip. You been? <clears throat> have you been switching over? I don't want to confuse anybody, but. I sometimes notice that if I switch from regular candles to the Hikanashi candles back and forth on my trade view, um, that helps out sometimes too. Yeah, with your with your bias. And at the chart, like making the chart cleaner. Mm hmm 
God. Did that break outside the imbalance and the retest? And in the retest. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. Wait and catch that break. See what I mean? It pulls us out. That's why I trust it. Like, oh, I just need you to come back and touch it. Just touch that thing. I dare you to touch it. Oh, man. <laughs> so, let me see. That was fast. Well, don't make me start threatening my charts. That's going to be over. Touch it. I dare you. I, I dare you. Boy. <laughs> Beautiful. Hey, you should hear me on the um on that binary chart. I'll be like, come on, drop, drop. Uh-huh. You better stay there. You, <laughs> you don't <hey>. move. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I definitely have you talking to the chat. Mm. All right. Look at this. Well, we talked about God's left shoulder. Hey, is this not the right shoulder? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Imagine we had it more. Just, I mean, geez. all right, let me take this off real quick. Nah, let me tell y'all something though. These Haikanashi, however you say it, Oof. on the right play, it's beautiful. Oof. Yeah, they're crazy. They got clean. Like, I mean, I was like, wait a minute. I feel like you don't need that <clears throat> MCF thing candle or the um, Matt D. It's like the same thing, but on the candle. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And I like putting that fib on me. Previous high, previous low. And this is just uh, my <clears throat> Joe the 25 life one. What don't matter. And then they was talking about that um oh, that little that the second the second candle how um uh Aaron was telling us the second candle after that doji candle. Yep. That thing dangerous. No. First of all, let me tell you something. Hey y'all, uh, listen, on the daily my goodness. I said you made it tell me every day at seven thirty. I'm gonna try to figure out what this love can do. Like, yo. Oh, no. Oh. Right. Now, did it click, click? Think about it. Jeez. Look at this candle. So, right, that thing. Oh. Is this the first candle with no wick? Hmm. So. If that's the first candle with no wick. If you were to go down to the four hour, would you have would you have two out two candles with no wick? Well, you know me. I'm being practiced in that, but yeah, like let's just see what this is. I'm gonna put that in my clear and I thought the right one on. Let's go find it. Put that in two, boy. Let's just see. Let's follow the rules. Some extra sports real quick. All right. And this is what we use on HFX, but it works. I've been practicing it on here. So the rule is you find this OG, the last one, and you're waiting for the first candle that has no wick on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Right? And I see that candle still have a wick though, right? Yeah, a little one. Oh, you had to zoom in closer to that one. Yeah, but right there, though. <laughs> well, actually, let me use this example, because this would be more what I would look for, because you want your RSI to be lower, as close as you can to the buy. You don't want to take, you want to see candles with what's on both sides. That's just sitting to pay attention. Mm -hmm. As long as you get the first candle with no wick, that is your signal candle. Right? No wick. On the very next open of this candle, you take the shade for the bride. And you're going to ride it for the next two hours. If you're on a one hour candle, you ride the next two candles. So, no entry, no entry. Pay attention. Wait for this candle to finish. Enter on this candle here. 
when this candle opens. You know when it's going to open because you got the time on. So if this was 12 o'clock, the candle will be finishing in one minute. So in one minute, we're going to see how this opens. If it opens, like how this one opened, but no work on the top, we're going to press sell now. Because while we had a candle with two wicks on the side, we got our signal candle. There's no wick. It's going down. The very next candle has no wick as well. We're going to take this candle for two hours. Because we're going to ride it for the next two candles. Or you ride it until you see a candle with a wick. Like in this case. We ride this. So you see a candle with a wick. This one came. But this one was high up on the R side, so it's not really good entry anyway. It's high up. You want to find one where price is low and R side is low. Like, look at this. We outside. I don't even care if this was blue, orange, pink. We outside and we this deep and we bent. I'm getting in. Because I know we got to come touch this. But again, which can't take the trade, can't take the trade, can't take the trade, signal, take the trade, let it play out for two candles. It's our trade right here. 26 trips and two hours because we're supposed to ride the next two candles. So. This is the same thing coming down. All right, we got wicks, no trade, wicks, no trade, wicks on both sides, no trade. All right, signal candle, a candle wick, no wick. Oh, but what happened to the second candle? Was it got a wick. No Start the process over. All right, first candle, no wick. Second one, whole different color, no wick. The second one, wick, can't take it, can't take it. Next candle, no wick. So, so if the, so it's the first one, doesn't have a wig, and the second one doesn't have the wig. You would take that tray with the second one. Yes, ma'am. Take the second tray with the wig. Gotcha. Stay in the tray for the next two hours for the next two candles. Okay. And down your trade is over down here. Or you didn't have to stop the trade to the state end because the very next candle was not only bigger, mm -hmm. you have no wig. No wig. Yeah. Same thing for the next candle, no wick. But we are also getting closer to the bottom of the R side. It'll be time to go back up. We oversold. Okay. Start the process over. Two wicks, no trade. Two wicks, no trade. Two wicks, no trade. No wick, signal. Take the trade. Make sense? Yep. Didn't know that, but thank you. I know what you about this one about two days ago. God. Mm-hmm. Todd, I need to, oh man, you need to get an award or something. I don't need no awards. I need y'all to tap in and retire with me if you can take two. Oh, yeah. I definitely will. We're about to be the reward, <laughs> bro. For real. All right, y'all can help me build it. We can turn it up. We could be the first. Mm-hmm. But look, you see that? See that? <clears throat> All right. A wick, two wicks, no trade. Two wicks, no trade. Wick, no wick, signal. Signal, Next trade. One, you take the trade. Now, this I one. Hear you over here. <laughs> <laughs> now, you see here, you had some. Drawback, but mind you, it's a 30 minute. So even if you go to those time frame and enter, you still gotta hold the trade for the two hours, else you're gonna miss it. But this was a schedule to get out because after the wicks come, I'm supposed to be done. But in this case, you're looking at a 30 minute to get your sniper entry. So if you look at the one hour and you're looking for your entry here, hold down a time frame lower so you can actually get your right entry. So this is your entry. This is the second candle, right? No way, this is your entry. So this is your entry right here. 
Now you would stand to, you've got to be for this standing. Time correlation is still key. This is about entry here. So we got another 30 minutes to candle. But look where the one hour entry was right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now you're really guaranteed. It's like it's it's like you sniping, but it's almost like you just walking up point blank and like Yeah, we're just walking up the boom. steps. Stacking. Walking up the steps, walking down the steps. You can't take steps with six coming out of it. You know where to take the steps. Take it with that way. By the way, ah, oh, it's time to stop. <laughs> Trying to take my feet out. Wait, no steps. No wait. Take the steps. The first one might be a fruit. And for the steps, we want to be sure that we working on steps. They're not six. All right, guys. So I think I'm gonna stop there. Thank you. Double train. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Fire. Appreciate Are you say you on Fridays? Ty? Can you say that one more time? Did you say you on on Friday nights? Friday nights. No, I'm not on Friday nights. Okay, no, no. I thought I heard you say Friday nights. I was on as it was recorded because I work on Friday nights. Yeah, you know, but sometimes I'll do extra stuff, so I'll keep you posted. If not, I'll um, let you know and drop the recording. But, or but definitely on Tuesday nights, correct? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay, I can do Tuesday nights. That works for me. No, you good. All right, so Tuesdays, yep. It's good. I'm trying to do some extra stuff. We got other people doing some stuff. And, um, Trying to get everybody to get these tips and these games. Yeah. Yep. Let's do it, and then man. Next week, we're going to um, go over some more of the HFX stuff. But with HFX, it's a little different because once you know structure, it's really just learning the strategy and sticking with it. Yeah. I've been having a little bit of success with the, you know, the, the purchase time and everything. Um, I'll tell you but I've been, I've been, I've been trying to follow that, um, you know, the, the two, the no wit strategy. But if you do what I say and do that two minute and go down, well, I'll be, to be honest, I'll be sniping it. Now that let's just show you what they're talking about. So I mean, I'm with it. Cause I've been, I've been liking that. I, I flipped the count. I, I got my count from 75 to 150. Let's go. That's it. Let's get it. It's pretty simple. I just really rock on these four pairs because they always have ninety two percent. Real? Like what? Is, what? Because I mean, sometimes that gold OTC is where it's at. No, yeah, I like it on here. Um, and you know, I gave up on gold a long time ago. <laughs> but me and gold is the best friend over here. <laughs> Oh man, I just missed that big old moon. So because this is in the high Kanashi candles, I just wanna try it up with the last season it was. And because it's not in the one minute, it's the five seconds, so I, you know, I'm just like crazy. So I'll be on the five seconds. And all I do, I swear to you, I know that. <laughs> I just be running this on side to the ground. It's it's like ridiculous. That's what we get to the law. Now that's the dip that just happened, right? We had a dip here. We had a dip here. The seeds are chasing back up. So, so would that be the retest? I'm just waiting for the sale. We done had a couple of retests. Now, it put my entry in Matt late. I still don't even care. But I'm on two minutes. But I'll be on this five second watching this all the time. <laughs> Nick. Oh. <laughs> Yo. 
But this is what I'll be doing, right? So, you know, I'm breaking. Let me out right there. It'll break. It'll okay. But I'll come back. But that's all I do. I swear you not. Look, we have another, you know, close up to you. So I would say probably like nine times out of ten, it hit. I still look at it with the first thing. Like, when do you, all right, so I'm, of course, we're waiting for the break-in retest on the RSI. We're also looking for, what I also be looking for I is the, the break-in retest. I just wait for it to be breaking into back into that cell zone. I try to, like, take my anxiety out of it, but you see how the, the thing was lagging, so it opens me all around here. But technically, I'm pressing the button, I'm just up here, too. So me being this up close, I won't mind. I was still being green, but I'll do it again. And it still might work out anyway because it still has so much more to go. But you see when price was here. Can I make this look good? You see when price was up here? Mm -hmm. Above. That was right here, the first drop. So when this one came up and came back, I believe that's when I was in and I was trying to get in. So when the time be going, it's going down and it ended up down here. So we could do it again, we're back over. I already broke. I was still getting right here, broken down, and that's what I'll be doing. And good thing too is, it's still good to have top correlation, so I still started on one minute. And show you what I like to see. I see pricing was going strong for a minute. Like price going up strong. So now I'm gonna be going when I see price with all these greens up here at a zone, then I'm gonna go to the five second steer so I can catch the drop. Because you Ooh. know what this not gonna do. It's gonna go up. It's gonna be a retracement. It's gonna go up. But you're kinda trying to catch the second one here. If it won't go, it'll go down, it'll go up. So if my entry was the first drop. I still be okay because by the time the two minutes is over, you end up down there. Mm -hmm. so I gotta be on the uh, five second to see it. And that's pretty much the only thing I was doing was doing that. Break and retest. Just break and retest. And I always try to catch the second one because it seems like the arc, I love to do a lot. So I can test the, the second one, then it usually works out best on the second one as opposed to the first one. But I tell you about nine times out of ten, it always hits. You just want to try and get your price at the peak of the world. You know, not at the um. Wow! Look at that drop right at the last not second. Not at the bottom. Mm. Yeah, because that was like probably the good test. So yeah, but we got in here, that have been even safer. And I just go back and forth. Because I think the other pair sometimes, but only on the weekends you'll see everybody like at 96%. Yeah. Like a couple got 80 and crippled shit on every trade that trash. Bitcoin don't even be worth it on, on here. Uh, no, because they know it's so expensive, so they don't want to pay out. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Man, I, I, oh, Ty, let me tell you. So, I, I ain't even gonna lie, I almost shit myself the other night. <laughs> so, first night on trying this out, I put my 75, not my first night, but the day after my demo, I put the 75 and no, the 50, and they matched me with the 25, right? So, I, I see Bitcoin. I push the button on Bitcoin, and I don't know if my eyes was messing up, but I put my, my bet in. <laughs> And I thought it said it was like a dollar and forty cents or something like that. And I thought I thought the decimal was a comma. So here I am. I'm I'm watching price rise and it's up above. And then I see my my you know my my profit hit and I lost it. I was like, oh my god, yo, did I really just do that? Did I really just hit a bag? And then I looked. I was like, oh, that was a dollar forty cents. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know the feeling you get when the cops pull you over? Yeah, man. It was the total opposite. Like, I got that feeling, but I felt good. And I was like, 
Oh man, that's a dollar for you. <laughs> Yo, your way, Chad. <laughs> you in there? I already know how much that break and recess, though. Yeah. You know how that. So, yeah, that's all I do on the five seconds. Let me see what the one hour looks like. I need in one minute. See where we at? We can't. <laughs> How many seconds is left? 31 seconds. So yeah, I just lost these two trades with y'all, but before I got on, that's mm -hmm. what I was doing. Mm -hmm. Let's see where we are in my last second. A real clean. So did you peep the different strategies that they got in pocket option? Nope, I peep nothing. I have been told me about her strategy and I was like, oh, what? I just ran with it. And then mm -hmm. I thought about time correlation. And I'm like, what is this eye so look like that when it's outside the room? Oh, well, let me look at doing the five seconds. And then I noticed it had me um, jumping in on the, the whip. So, but literally, she stood to two minutes time off, the one minute chart, and she took that same move. No whip. First entry, she'd entered on this candle. Two minute candles later. She do the same thing over here. It's a whole bunch of money right here. No wit, enter. Two minutes later, trade it over. No wit, enter. Two minutes later, trade it over. Yep. So let me ask you, Todd, right there, the second candle, second second bearish candle. This one? Um, all the way, yeah, right, that one right there. As soon as that one, at what point do you push the button? But well, a good thing about the Akanashi candle, right now, you see that the first candle would know it, right? Let's see if it gives us another one with no it. These candles kind of open up the size of the body first. So that's like the beautiful part. You'll know if you got good momentum, the candle will open up bigger, and it's going to open a little bit. So. So I'm going to count down. You see how it opens? It opens super big. Right. So I like to let it drill down to at least closer to the close of the last candle or 30 seconds, so it won't come first. Okay. That's close enough for me. Or sometimes I see the and I just be like, oh no. Let's slide up, fuck it. <laughs> this is OD. And now we gotta wait a minute and two seconds to see what happens. But for me, as I was doing this strategy, I feel like I had more anxiety. So I saw it going in. The sniper entry, I loved it. I had anxiety all the way down here and in the middle. Yeah. But it'd be hitting. It's two minutes. It'd be out of there. <laughs> I'd be like, hey, yo, God damn. You can secure a bag while you. That's crazy. It's all about the night once you build your town <laughs> Yo. Because, I mean, it's their money. But so if I bank 50 G's off of you, I could just come on here and just buy a fucking, I'm going to throw like 10K. Just put 10 orders on one this up. Easy. And wait two minutes later. <laughs> Nobody should have shown me this. Nobody should have shown me this. It's a done deal. 
It's over with, yo. Look at this. <laughs> this is stupid, yo. <laughs> and don't, yo. Oh my God, and people don't want to learn this. You just secured 26, down to 27 stacks. Stacks. Demo or not. Look, and now they try, yo. I hate when they do that. <laughs> Talking about, hey, you secure, come, come, come trade live with us. We all float down here. I don't know. It's only going to be tight because the best time to trade this is on the weekends. And I guess clearly that's what I was telling you. Yo, you know what they are? Let me put your on real quick. What's the tournament? So they be giving out free money for tournament. Yo, push her on. Yo, but to, to pay for free, starting in an hour, 39 minutes, and you whoever makes the most money, they start everybody off with 100, the winner gets 250. And they do it every day. They got some other ones. You could do just take a dollar, $10, then a thousand. That's, that's, so that's real money that they let you win? Real money. How you gonna get no sleep, yo? Nah, go to sleep, son. Chill. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, chill. Yo, let me turn the yo, some of these winners, they be having 33,000, 50,000. I'm like, damn, that must have been up all night. But it's easy to do with $100. It don't take that long. All right. But yeah, like you just participate and um, it'll send you an alert. But yeah, I know it's just always at 2 o'clock in the morning. And it lasts till about 4 p.m. the next day. Mm. So you could just wake up tomorrow and start, you know, you know I don't know how that happens with them trading, but. That's why. I want to be, it ain't hard to, um, it won't hurt to play for y'all to win, you know, but you want anyway to practice those tournaments. Yeah, that's what's up right there, for sure. Yeah, and then like they be giving out gems and stuff, and they all equal up to different things. So if you end up like losing money, or you could take a gems in the ad cash to your account. So. It's like a damn, it's like a, a video game. Step up. That's pretty much how they design the damn thing. Uh, all right, y'all. Good night. Appreciate you tapping in. Oh, yeah. Have Thank you, man. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. No problem. All right, Ty, hold it down. Be easy. All right, you got this. Philly the monster. All right, Greg. Hey, I'm going to see you in the morning, bro. Yeah.